Virgo, welcome to your 1010 portal reading. We're going to look into what's leaving and what's um, coming uh, to your life. I have Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron here, and then Sekhmet, she's an uh, Egyptian deity. So let's go ahead and start. While I was meditating with your cards, Virgo, I was hearing um, I'm back. And it's not like a very flat tone. Um, dismissive tone it's just um like a sing song like i'm back i think for a while you've lost yourself you've been taking like a hiatus maybe the hermit mode for quite some time um maybe it's been seven months seven years even to some and you're heading towards uh, whatever happened here it looks like with don't forget something happened in your past that you really kind of like put forth in the back now but it's what happened here the memory the lesson it's forever ingrained in you it's like embedded into your dna so um it took you quite a while to probably get back to yourself but now i think the problem with the past is maybe a lot of procrastination um letting life pass you by opportunities a place or thing or maybe people that could have been like a uh, significant uh, in your life that you probably did not um, pursue or again you just let them pass by um it's like truly now you're harnessing all the elements being the true magician that you are harnessing all of the elements um air fire water and earth and really um embarking on a new journey instead of in the past it looks like you're probably um with four of swords it looks like you're probably hiding from arguments uh, change um with winds of change you're probably just trying to stop time and now you're actually flying straight into the storm like you don't care let me fight you off like i could handle you now maybe in the past too something happened here that maybe um made you question yourself made you like the feeling of like less than kind of um energy i'm getting and now you've garnered enough strength to fight off what, whatever this could be change um or like a new position or a new station in your life relocation or just overall um if you have been lacking not fighting off people but more of like voicing out your own opinion um instead of letting people like kind of like walk all over you but i was getting stampeding um that's kind of that, that's a severe um word like stampede so you probably not just have one but several people probably kind of suppressing you uh this is changing so this is what's leaving from you is the suppression um hiding cowering just always trying to put a barrier between whatever this is and now it looks like you're really taking charge and heading straight to the eye of the storm and really flying through that and confident that you're gonna get past whatever uh condition this is for you in your life okay so let's go ahead and get tarot cards and let me just get uh Lenormand first, then I'll do tarot. Okay, Archangel Michael, uh, Virgo, please. So what's leaving and what's arriving? Okay, we have, this one came out first. Photograph with seven uh, past memories returning. We have the rider with one. We have mice with five. Someone could be born of year of the rat. I know it's my rat, it's different, but um, maybe this scarce um, four of pentacles energy, it, this is what's leaving in your life as well. And it looks like, I don't know if you're publishing something or you're putting something out there that people could look at with photographs. I don't know if you're a photographer, an artist of some sort, but this message, this opportunity is actually arriving at your doorstep. Um, with Aquarius and Mercury, this is going to be happening really fast. Um, and with self note, this is something that you've perfected in your past life. So you could, whatever this is for you, if this is making music, you could do it in your sleep kind of thing. This is uh, like you've mastered this 
and I think probably you had a creator's block or like some sort of blockage in the past. I'm getting more of an emotional trauma, mental trauma. I think uh, you probably had your heart broken or something happened in between friends or that something like blocked you from moving forward. But with the writer here, this is where you're um, like an opportunity arrives and it would actually reawaken um, what you've suppressed all along and instead of trying to hide what you're supposed to put up there you're actually getting the confidence that you need to push everything forward and it's going to be amazing yeah you're cutting out um, I think you've been really in the cycle of seven years of just maybe um, getting complacency and I think now you're being pushed forward to change. Um, you're ready for it too, which is amazing. All right, I need five cards, please. We have eight of pentacles, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Oh my, this is all pentacles. So whatever this is, this is again, something you've mastered, you've worked your ass off. And if you've been feeling like left out by people, plays or thing, you're no longer gonna be having this. You're heading towards a nine of pentacle energy, which is independence, also enjoying the fruits of your labor. I need two more, please. Oh, the high priestess. I'll take um, one more. And we have the flying machine. This is the chariot. So, where you're heading is towards, I don't know if this is a new location or just getting like abundance and confidence with you. And also whatever happened in the past, it looks like you've gained intuition. I think you actually really connected to the higher source, um, maybe connected even to the Akashic records. Looks like an angel came towards you or like it to in your dreams it depends because i'm getting some that not like it's real time not dream time but and i think you're going to be writing about this experience i'm getting um the fiction also getting autobiography and i'm also getting podcast talking about this experience so this is beautiful or overall if this is not a thing this is also a contract for a new um, position this could also be like tax refunds um, but I don't know if this could head towards nine of Pentacles this is forever not forever kind of money but it's almost there you just need one more Pentacle to head to where you need to be so with this as a nine it's, it has to be like a business endeavor, like a promotion where um, you don't need anyone to help you with um, bills, basically. You're going to be fine on your own. You have your own place. You have your own house, own car. Everything is yours. Okay? It's it, I'm really this nine of pentacles for me. You, you're, you're good. You just need that one pentacle to kind of like put their things in order to kind of help you maybe with like, like, not like huge bills, but be it with a person or not, you're fine on your own. Okay, that's amazing. We have three of five, which is three of wands. That's looking into the future and really having that thing where you start dreaming again. I think in the past you were just very nonchalant, very, very passive. Also, like maybe um, desensitized. You just didn't care if you lived or died maybe this is the whole depression thing and also i'm getting that if you have people or place that triggers you to head back to that dark place you're gonna cut it out immediately um there's a lesson here and i think you're gonna um, immediately recognize it if you're mingling with people uh, environment that does not feel right deep in your gut you're going to leave and cut that out of your life and we have Mother of Earth. That's like, I'm getting like Gaia, Empress energy. Um, we have Seven of Cups, Three of Coins, Two of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. 
So where you're heading is stability. Also, if there's a person that you've been waiting for to work with you, I don't know if someone likes Spawn, but I'm seeing Spawn. Um, but this is a partnership where I think someone maybe did not want to commit yet. Like I'm hearing ducks in a row, or this could be someone that's far away from you, but it looks like this person's coming back to reconcile for um, to really give the commitment that you deserve. Um, with two of cups here, this is my twin flame. Um, high level soulmate card so this is someone that you really feel like you're coming home to let me just get uh, several more um, let me just, I haven't used these I just got them yesterday and it took like a while they're from Lithuania um, Archangel Michael can you just clarify for Virgo please we have sensuality Music is the mediator between the spiritual and sensual life. And we have confidence. God promises to make something good out of the storms that bring devastation to your life. Oh yeah, and you had two storms there, like winds of change and um, it's Poseidon, right? Inner world. You are your master. Only you have the master keys to, your, to open the inner locks. Oh dreaming you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream and we have living in the present moment creates the experience of eternity this is Fontana de Trevi in uh, Rome um, this is where you actually like drop a coin and kind of make a wish um, I don't even remember what I wished way back when and I've gone here like three times and I don't remember every time and you would drop and the third one is like sort of supposed to bring you back in italy i don't know i forgot but yeah this is like a wishing well so it looks like whatever this is that you've been wishing for if it's breaking bad habits of complacency of just letting life pass you by it's going to stop and we have peace love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend if you've been wanting reconciliation from someone that you also have a uh, uh, like a rift with that healing is coming through as well Virgo so we have 22 dragon this is is it the year of dragon right now 2022 or is it the year of the lion it's the dragon right <laughs> uh, we have closure heart emotions focused on love hearts calling affairs of the heart and we have distant future except that things can happen in a different order than the one you had in mind patience is key so if you're manifesting a specific person to come back to you and to commit um, this person's coming back in guise of closure probably um, or maybe to give you closure but this conversation would actually give you both opportunity if you can reconcile this relationship or not um if this is not if this is the past that you're closing in so you could commit to this two of cups energy um i'm really getting this two of cups is a new energy uh or it's a person other or um, what I'm hearing if this is not the person that you've been wanting to reconcile and you just want to close the past properly you're gonna have an opportunity to have a clean cut cut slate with this person and this two of cups uh, high level soulmate is gonna come towards you once you've really cut cords um, really heavy heavy heart chakra energy with you Virgo and we have employment change. Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You're being supported each step of the way. So this is all I have for you. I wish you guys have a great week and thank you. Bye.